Take a look at this damage in Streeterville. Thankfully, when that pole fell this morning, no one was hurt with faulty rusted out poles. It's an issue the CBS2 investigators has spent years digging into. The city promised to fix them, vowing to get rid of dangerous light poles. But as you can see, once again, another fell. CBS2's Tara Molina is live where it happened. Tara, you brought this to the city today. What was the response? Jim, yes, live in a very snowy Chicago right now. We brought this directly to the Chicago Department of Public Transportation and the mayor's office because this now replaced light pole. We found that it was damaged long before it fell this morning. Completely rusted out at the base. Here's a look at the Columbus and Grand intersection this morning in Streeterville, a highly trafficked area with a surrounding grocery store, bank and hotel. Thankfully, no one was hurt when this came crashing down. Crews surrounded the base throughout the day. Unfortunately, a scene that's not unique here in Chicago. Years ago, the problem spurred the city to commission a $2.5 million audit where surveyors examined and graded every pole in Chicago, more than 300,000 of them. The CBS2 investigators broke that audit down back in December and found 10%, more than 30,000 poles, were graded as having a concerning problem. But we analyzed all the polls with an address around here and found none with concerning grades. Then learning from the city, this particular poll is a traffic poll, so it's not listed in that audit. But Google images show it's been rusted for years. This image in 2015 shows some rust on the bottom, same in 2016, and in 2017, a much clearer image showing a fully rusted base. Now again, I brought all of this to the city today to both CDOT and Mayor Lori Lightfoot's office, sending them those images and asking why more wasn't done about this poll years ago before it fell this morning. Still no real answers yet today, but we're going to continue to follow up and we're going to have another update for you coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Streeterville, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Tara, thank you.